All right, good evening, and uh, I will make my remarks uh, rather brief because I know we have a number of reports. So at the Committee of the Whole meeting, we uh, discussed earlier, and I'm going to send an email out to the whole college and all member distribution to explain uh, what I explained to the board tonight, how our 10th day to 10th day, our typical census shows us down about 8% at the college level, 7%, but when you take into account that shift and when you compare 15 day to 15 day, it's about 3.5% in headcount and 3.4% in credit hours. So we had budgeted uh, about, as I mentioned, about a 2% decline, so we're closer to what we budgeted for there. Um, we also, uh, I also wanted to remind everybody, as I think you know, that the, uh, <coughs> the white ball at the Palmer House is coming the, the 27th, and we look forward to that, and raising the funds for our, uh, student scholarships. So uh, we uh, also talked about, and I wanted to thank uh, Roland Miller, uh, the Dean of the Communication of Arts, Humanities, and Fine Arts, and Diane Rera, our Senior Marketing and Communications Analyst for getting together the choral group, the CLC Singers, uh, as uh, Trustee Olschlager mentioned earlier, that they're going to be performing at the ACCT conference, so that's great. Um, and um, I think, uh, finally, I just wanted uh, to mention that uh, I think Karen has the email proof uh, for those business cards, and we've got those around everybody. Okay. So you should uh, see Karen uh, to kind of circle and initial your card to make sure it's exactly what you want so we can start getting those processed and getting them out. So, and then... Can I just uh, stay around for a second? Yeah. Um, and I don't know if this is possible. Um, the funds were, were looking at um, business cards, and I know a lot of community colleges do that, uh, do this. Would, would it be helpful if we put some of our statistics on the back of the business card, like our enrollments or... Uh, our FTE or our budget or you know, some kind of other uh, useful information uh, that would be community worthy as you know we're out uh, talking to folks and giving out our business cards. It's just a suggestion. Well, you know what might be good is to actually give a link where people could find that updated information because that changes all the time. So we could put some things on the back side to kind of drive them to different places uh, where they'd have that information. But also, I, I, I'm glad you reminded me, <coughs> if you also, when you look at these cards, have any social media links or anything you want on there too, like a LinkedIn account, you can put that on your card too, so just let us know. We'll I noticed that it only references the Grace Lake campus, and I know that's our main campus, but when we're out and about, people don't realize we yeah, have we'll two other put those. campuses. That would be good. We're going to keep them to a certain size. I mean, I don't oh, want a business folding. card that's this big. Unfolding. But, but, but that's okay. actually, that, that would be a good idea to because have the other campuses. Have campus. No, on the back, that would be good information. But on the back, we'll put some basic information on the back of the cards. We used that's to have these, these cards that were given to us. Yeah. Phone numbers and mm -hmm. how to get hold of people. Yeah, I still mm -hmm. have those. No, we, no, we no, still we do those. Whenever there's a change. Okay, <coughs> so we'll look into uh, making full use of the space on the cards. I, I actually, on the back of my cards, have a number of places where people can check the different locations. Okay, um, then uh, we uh, said that we would give a report on student success so it can be front and center, and I'm going to turn that over to Dr. Heath. Just a couple of uh, highlights I'd like to provide, just three real quickly. Um, September 12th, uh, Dr. Ali O'Brien and Dr. Weber had an opportunity to do a presentation to approximately 40 K-12 superintendents, talk about the college, talk about um, things like our summer bridge program, encouraging a fourth year of math. Uh, they also highlight our international ed program, honors and university partnerships. Very productive meeting. Second thing I'd like to highlight is our coaching for academic success. <coughs> We have academic coaches in over 150 sections of developmental English and in math. Uh, over 3,000 students have received personal contact from their coaches, and the coaches have visited each of those uh, each of those sections. Uh, so 
the contacts are both proactive and reactive. Uh, the most common academic issues that we're seeing in the early part of the semester are things like low quiz and exam scores, class attendance, and assignment assignment. Uh, in terms of so the coaches are working with the students on these issues. Uh, and then finally, as I talked about a little bit earlier, um, our strategic enrollment management plan is moving forward. Uh, Dr. Black from SEMWorks was here uh, a week or two ago for a round of meetings and focus groups to determine some strengths and opportunities for improvement. Uh, we've identified some things that we were doing right, we've identified a few things that we need to uh, some work on. So we've developed six teams that started meeting this week. Uh, the teams are focused on the following areas. Uh, there's a group looking at seamless service delivery, how we're servicing uh, our students. Uh, we have another group looking at uh, innovative and relevant academic programs. We have a group that's looking at our, our advising, our holistic advising system. Another group looking at integrated student retention, how we're looking at our student retention programs across the institution. We have a group that are looking at the campus experience, how people, when they come onto the campus, how they are experiencing both here, Lakeshore, South Lake. And then our final group is working on leveraging scholarships for recruitment. The question that, that came up as a result of this panel that I was on with all of the educators and legislators, and that is we're focusing so much on student success, and I know we need to because of the federal guidelines and because of the accountability. But they were asking, what are we doing to get students in who are top students or good students? Are we, by focusing so much on student success, essentially dumbing down CLC? Or are we doing what we need to do to bring in high level students? I think we are, in fact, uh, you know, when we talk to the superintendents or an elder, in fact, one of the things we talked about were our honors program, our scholars program. Uh, with the SEM works, one of the things we talked about just uh, yesterday with Dr. Weber is leveraging uh, our scholarship money to begin trying to recruit students who may not otherwise consider the College of Lake County because they may go elsewhere and trying to use that money to recruit them. Uh, typically, how we view scholarship money here at the college is once you become a student, then we say apply for scholarships. Uh, this would actually be going out and telling folks, look, you have a certain ACT score, or you meet these criteria, we want you to come, and if you do, we're going to give you a $1,000 scholarship, or a $500 scholarship, or whatever. So using those, uh, using those scholarships fund to help with that, that kind of thing. So I, I don't want to lose those students in the yeah. rush for the student success initiative. No, you know, I, I know how important that is <coughs> for us, but I want to make sure that we're out there marketing to all those other students who are college ready who can come to us and have the skills they need and move on and be successful. And so. yeah, we're working on another program just for the health careers and health sciences to take exceptional students. And that's that partnership with us and Franklin. So that's been moving on. Any other questions? Okay. If you'd like to come back to it, but yeah. yes. I will say that the online okay. area was the positive area. Yeah. Which did, make sure that I noted that numbers, even though it was less than one percent small, but it was positive. <laughs> 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 